Hey, what's happening everybody? This is Robert the Leather Cowboy Muhammad down here in the Dirty South with Premier Leather Crafters coming back with another video. I know you guys, it's been a long time since I've done one of these. I've been extremely busy, even more busy than the last time that I said I was busy on a video, but there's been a lot of things popping, a lot of things going on. Um, now I'm into my new spot. Uh, getting everything situated and set up. Hopefully, uh, once we get done with painting and, and some other things that's going on, uh, you guys, I'll do a little span of the completed shop, and then you guys can have some type of idea um, how you may want to set your shop up, or um, how just just giving you a look and how I have my shop set up. Uh, some new equipment is coming in. Uh, I just bought an uh, Arbor Press to where I was talking with another crafter about getting uh, this one particular deal that uh, uh, my company, Premier Leather Crafters, has been negotiating with one of the top um, hunting companies in the country right now. Um, they've We've been talking back and forth numbers, and it's just some little spine stuff on critiquing and finalizing the deal uh, on that. But God willing to keep smiling up on me, you guys will see Premier Leather Crafters uh, in Bass Pro Shop in Cabela's next hunting season. So, um, but anyway, um, there's been a whole lot of things that's been going on and popping off in the leather crafting world. Uh, I still keep up and and check in with the with the gills um, every now and then I'm in several gills that's on social media right now and a lot of stuff again you know there's a lot of information or a lot of questions that are, are being out there and you guys know by now by following me this long that my thing is there's a lot of people um, giving their opinion and they're really technically not answering the question. And that's one thing that I try to do is I try to answer the question for the person and not so much as give my personal opinion. I mean, I'll give them my opinion too, but at the end of the day, it's what you um, as a crafter want to do. Um, just for instance, one particular thing I was reading the other day, and uh, a gentleman had posted up an article that was written by somebody in some leather magazine, leather journal, probably. I, I don't know. It might have. It, it was an article written out of a periodical that related to leathercraft. And the question was, uh, which one is better, alcohol-based dye? or water-based dye. And I thought it was odd because the, the one thing that what it stood out to me um, because I was like, well, hey, what about oil-based? Did they just completely don't? I mean, I do know some crafters that are still using oil-based dye, you know. But the question was, which one uh, should be used or which one is better? Now, me personally, uh, well, first, let me not give my opinion. Uh, let me just answer this this way. There is no one that's better or worse than the other. It's particularly up to the crafter. Uh, and that's concerning oil base, water, or alcohol. But, uh, and the article even went in deep. And it gave you a deeper understanding about what is alcohol-based dye, what it does, uh, how it affects the leather. Uh, and it's strictly talking about veg tan, um, dyeing process or dyeing technique. Uh, and it talked about the the good and the pros and cons of water base. It didn't say anything about oil base. Um, now, a lot of crafters that I know that use oil-based dye only use it for edging. Um, not so much as a complete or total work. Uh, I haven't met anybody that use oil-based dyes for more than that. Uh, now, my thing is I have both. I have both water-based and both alcohol-based. 
and I'm going to tell you why I like, um, that's why I say neither one is better than the other one, because in my opinion, and I guess I'm going to have to give you my opinion of why I say neither one is better than the other one, uh, it depends on the project that I'm working on. Yeah, it depends on the project that I'm working on. If I'm working on a project that's not going to uh, take a lot of wear and tear or beating, uh, let's just say I was working on a, um, a, a, a leather pictorial and I was doing some deep, deep uh, carving and deep tooling and beveling and backgrounding and it is it's not going to be used as just a wall piece that I'm going to have framed. Uh, in that particular project, I would use water-based dye. Uh, the thing with water-based is it doesn't penetrate as deeply as alcohol-based does. But the effects that water-based and the things that you can do with water-based dye, uh, especially the mixing and coming up with your own particular colors and stacking and building uh, on colors uh, with water-based dyes is, is phenomenal. That's why a lot of crafters, a lot of the newer artistic uh, crafters j gravitate toward water-based because you can, you can take those colors and then you can thin them down because it's water-based and you can thin it with water. You don't have to go to a thinning solvent. Uh, you can do the same thing with alcohol-based, but now you have to use an alcohol-based solvent, which now the smell. So if you've ever used alcohol-based dyes before, you guys already know that the smell is like, you know, if it's your first time using it, you was like, whoa. You know, I think I need to open the window. But, I mean, it is not, it doesn't get you high, you know, or anything like that, but it can overtake a room. Uh, and the, but the solvents that you might use to thin that down, that can probably give you a little bit of a headache uh, if you're not working in a well-ventilated area. And then even still on the bottle for the sake of security purposes, um, the alcohol base does say use in a ventilated area. But water-based, it doesn't have that fume or that smell like that. And then you can thin it down by just using water. You can come up with a whole different color scheme and structures. Then you can also mix, especially the now the EcoFlow brand that uh, um, I know Tandy has. And I'm not very certain about other, um, I don't know if that's a, a Tandy product exclusively or uh, you can buy that at any uh, leather crafters, uh, leather craft store around. Oh, oh man, man, the sleep monster is on me. Man, I'm not sleep. It's just, I, you guys, I've been operating off of four to six hours of sleep trying to get this project done with this hunting company. Uh, but anyway, um, alcohol base penetrates leather a lot deeper than water base. Water, that water-based dye is only going to penetrate the pigments of the, the veg tan leather so much because it's water-based. And then, uh, even though, which tells me with that water base is going to, um, unless you're putting some particular type of sealer on the top to lock those colors in. So basically, you're just stacking right on top of the leather. Uh, and, and it might only penetrate maybe one or two layers of the hide, but then you're stacking everything else on top of that to lock those colors in, as opposed with or uh, with alcohol base. With alcohol base, the alcohol that's in that dye allows the colors to penetrate deep into uh, that that leather hide, and which will lock those colors in, and then. Tennessee is with uh, alcohol base, then you would take paint or some type of acrylic or water based paint and paint on top of alcohol based dye. So, and that's the, the, the techniques that I've seen 
done over the years or the process that a lot of crafters have done over the years. But now, even though that, um, we're even with all base, all base and alcohol is pretty much right about the same. Uh, once you dye it, then you put in paint on top of that oil base. And then everything you use with oil base, you have to use oil paste paint. So everything will stack and, and, and dry like it's supposed to. Um, because, and now with alcohol, do you know the one thing about alcohol dyes? It's a long time to remove a oops. Or if you get alcohol dye in your your clothing and your hands or even an oil base it's a long time for you to wash you can wash your hair 50,000 times and it, it's, it, it'll eventually fade but it'll go away when it's going to go away you know and that's what the biz what the lick read uh, just for an example um, alcohol dye this is what happens when you don't use a cardboard when you stain it and on top of, uh, under your work. So, I mean, I can probably go get some bleach water and spray and then it might pull it up, but it's only going to lighten it up. It's never really going to remove it because it penetrates the pigment so good. So, but that's that on that. Which one is better? Um, I have absolutely no idea. I won't say which one is better over the other one. But I will tell you, it depends on what project. Now, if I'm working on a piece, and I, I said if I was working on a piece that doesn't require a lot of wear and tear or use, I would use water-based. Uh, but if I'm you working on a project that requires a lot of use, uh, gun holsters, belts, uh, uh, purses are not getting a lot of use. Uh, out exterior, the interior, yes, but exterior, no. Uh, other than the fact that it's rubbing up against the body or whatever, but um, uh, knife sheaves, uh, things of that nature, gun slings, yeah, I want those to last a little bit long time, especially if that piece is going to be out in the elements or out in the weather. Uh, even my um, the, the crystal line sandals uh, that Premier Leather Crafters put out, those are all alcohol based dyes. Uh, except in some cases when I use an antique gel, depending on the product, depending on the project that I'm working on. And then it depends on the artwork that's involved. Um, uh, I do like using both. Even now, especially if I'm airbrushing, I like water-based dye better because it doesn't clog up my, uh, my airbrush tips uh, like that. Uh, so... And then it, it they, they they blend and they fade beautifully. But, and, and I let this video get a little bit long. Uh, and so I'm going to cut it off and come back with another video because one of the subscribers, Gene, uh, he just bought some uh, a new tool. And I really want to get off into that because I think it's a great tool to put into your arsenal. So this one right here is already at the 13 and a half minute mark. So, um, oh, real quick. And I, I'll, well, I'll get off into it in the next video uh, that I do because I want to sh tell, share and tell you guys something that's really hot right now in the leather crafting world. And actually, there's going to be a class done on it. So uh, if you can't get to that particular area of Kansas to take that class, I would tell you to send your money in and do the class via internet and where you can still be right there in class. But... That way, the instructor can get his bread and you can get the information to do this right here. This project is so hot right now. I posted some pictures up on, up on my business page, up on social media. So if you guys have already seen that already, you already know what I'm going to get up into talking about. But let's take this over to the next video. And But um, that's one thing about the, uh, just to reiterate real quick in this last little 30 seconds is, there's not, to me, uh, there's no, not one die better than the other one. It depends on the project that you're going to be using it in. And it depends on the piece and how much work that particular piece is going to be doing. But I would encourage you to experiment with both. The Equiflow brand or the Ecoflow brand is very great. 
uh, especially if you're going to be mixing and blending the, those particular dyes, water-based dyes, and you can do that. With alcohol-based, I don't think you can blend and mix like you can with the Equiflow water-based dyes, like you can, I mean, like you can with that Equiflow. But anyway, this is the Leather Cowboy. I'm going to sign off on this one. Y'all come on back because I'm going to get off into another video about the X503 craft tool that I think is a beautiful tool and get off into this little new venture that will guarantee you guys a major money maker right here. All right. Thank you for watching. This is the Cowboy right here from Leather Crafters.